Yo, what's up? This is your girl Dragon and we are in UEFN today. And I'm going to be showing you just how easy it is to make your own custom objective device. This is going to be so fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let's go ahead and jump in and let's get into it. Let's go. All right, so here we are in UEFN and you can see the setup. It's a lot easier than you think it's going to be. Now there's going to be a few things you're going to need before you can get this system set up. And of course, it's going to be your objective device and any imported asset that you like. So just to show you guys how to get this started, you can see that I have this chest already set up. We're going to do a different one so you can see how to get it done. Now that you see what that looks like, what we need to do is drop an objective device. So I'm going to go ahead and search for that. And when you drop your objective device, you're going to get this complete gallery just like this. So you can do one or two things. You can, of course, delete them all. Like this. Or you can select them in the outliner like this so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete them all except for one now you want to get the closest shape to your mesh as possible so since we're using a coin I'm gonna go ahead and use this circle right here and this is going to be perfect. I'm just going to drag that right next to my chest right there. So let's see here. Next thing you're going to want to do is take a look at your details panel. You're going to see that there's a hierarchy here. All kinds of things that are happening with this device. In order to add your imported asset, you're going to have to click on Add. And you're going to go to Static Mesh. You can name this if you like. So let's just go ahead and name that coin. Here you can drop in your Static Mesh. And my coin's right here. And you can see it just appears right there. Let's go ahead and rotate it so that it is facing the front like so. And we may want to make it a little smaller. Right, there we go. The size has been decreased. Like that. All right, next, since we have our coin in and we're good to go, we need to position our objective device. Now you can see that you can click on these individual components just like that and you can move them so that it's positioned properly on your mesh. We're going to leave the health bar at the top because we're going to actually move this closer to your mesh. This is where your arrow is going to be pointing. Now that that's done, let's go ahead and move the coin up just a little bit more so that it's near the top. And we can go ahead and readjust these as well just so everything is in the right place. Now select your static mesh component. 
This is your objective device you see here, and you're able to move the entire system. Now that you have everything lined up and it's looking great, the next thing you need to do is make sure the objective device does not show when the game is live. To do that, select objective device, and you're going to look for one thing in particular, visible during game. Next, you wanna make sure you can turn on your beacon. and set that to whatever you like. So let's go ahead and select arrow and we'll turn it to, let's say like a golden color since it's a coin and so forth. And also just make sure that your visible during game is set to false by unchecking it so that the box is empty. Now that that's done, it's time to save your changes and then push your changes. All right, everything's saved and everything's pushed and we're ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and start the game so we can take a look at what we made. All right, how easy was that? Now you have your own custom objective device. So simple to make and so fun. Can't wait to see what you do with this. So uh, if you do wanna share with me, you know, you can drop it in the Discord. I would love to see it. The link will be posted below. And uh, that's going to do it for this really quick tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.